Hey, so I had a friend recently that asked me how to use the Tween Machine. It's a very simple script and very simple to install as well. And all you have to do is download it. And once you have the dot zip, uh, the zipped file open, you bring these files up and go to My Documents. Go to Maya and choose your version. Mine's 2012 x64 go to scripts and put the two .mel files into the scripts folder once you've done that go to preferences icons and add this one the .xpm into into the folder All right so once you've done that open up maya here i've got a cube that's keyed on two frames frame 1 and 24 if I bring up the graph editor, uh, you can see that it's pretty much a straight line. And so, if you go to frame 12, the cube is actually right in between these two frames. But say if you want the one that say if you want the po the frame on frame 12 to favor one side or the, or the other, that's when tween machine will come in handy. So, what you do is source the tween machine in, go to the .mel line over here and type in tween machine semicolon and make sure you get the the cases right. Uh, so to make to put this on the shelf all you need to do is simply highlight it, middle mouse and drag up to your shelf and choose MEL type. Once you've done that I'd highly recommend changing the icon to what was it called tween machine and here's the icon so now you have a nice icon and you can also put a label on or a tm you can only fit a few, a, uh, a few letters into this so there you go and I'm going to open it now and that's it it's very simple, very easy to use. Uh, I'd say pretty much you you never really need to use the slider unless you're you're getting really right down into the de into the details. But just to demonstrate, I'm only going to use these six boxes. Okay, and if I click this for for intents and purposes, the, oh, there's actually seven. Yeah, so the middle one is zero which means when you highlight the box or the control that you have you click this and the control will the, the sorry the whatever you have selected will go into the position that's right between frames the two keyframes that you have so in my case it's right here but if you want the pose to favor say the second keyframe then you'd click one of these and I'll just play this back for you oh god okay hold on yeah so now we have a very nice uh, ease out or easing I guess it very smoothly just locks into that position uh, if you want it to start if you want the pose to start off quite slowly and then get faster as it goes on then you go, you'd go back to that in between frame and click one of these ones so if I play this back to you and yeah that's uh, that's basically how it works I'm sorry I could, couldn't be more comprehensive but I'm not very good at explaining things hopefully this you get it and that's me signing up.